Hey guys, this is NitroBex, and I got a juice review for you today. It is going to be on sepia tones from Vapeography. Now, this one, I'm sorry, I know I've been doing a lot of fresh, fresh cracks, so you can uh, see first impressions, but I've had this juice before, and I had to do it now. This bottle's about to be gone. Uh, let's go ahead and cover juice prices on it. Uh, juice pricing I'm getting is from eSig Outpost. You're looking at $19.99 for a 30 ml bottle. That breaks down to $0.67 cents per milliliter. Uh, the setup I'm going to be using on this is going to be a TNT80 by Encom with a dot com atomizer on it and i got a custom drip tip up on the top uh the specs of the coil is a 0.4 ohm coil at 80 watts let's get into vaping it okay so this is an extremely thick liquid it produces awesome clouds let's get into the flavor though root beer is one of the most challenging flavors to get correct this is not an overly syrupy root beer it's not perfumey it is spot on it's got a nice refreshing effervescence to it it doesn't have a lot of that anise flavor that some of the root beers will have If you go looking for it, in the background there, there's a nice little tiny bit of creaminess. Now, at a lower wattage, this tastes like a root beer float rather than just a fresh glass of root beer. But I like my wattage is a little higher, and I like my root beer tastes like I'm drinking a root beer soda. So that's why I'm cranking this one out at 80 watts. Well... I already know what I'm going to give this one because, like I said, I'm recording this video right now because if I waited any longer, there wouldn't be any liquid left. So, that being said, definitely go over, check this juice out. It is, I can definitely recommend this one all day long. This one gets an A. Shh.